The future of air dominance is being rewritten, and it's happening faster than anyone anticipated. In a stunning reveal at the 2024 Farnborough International Air Show, the Global Combat Air Program, an unprecedented alliance between Italy, the United Kingdom, and Japan, unveiled the next-generation fighter jet that's set to redefine the battlefield. But what does this new sixth-generation marvel bring to the table, and how soon will it be carving through the skies? This isn't just another fighter jet. It's a game-changer, packed with cutting-edge technology that blurs the lines between manned and unmanned combat. With capabilities that seem ripped from the pages of a sci-fi novel, this aircraft is designed to dominate in every aspect of modern warfare, from advanced stealth and AI-driven systems to unmatched speed and agility. But as impressive as it sounds, the real question is, how close are we to seeing this beast in action? In today's video, we're peeling back the layers of secrecy surrounding this revolutionary fighter to give you an inside look at what could be the most formidable aircraft ever built. The Global Combat Air Program, GCAP. The Global Combat Air Program, or GCAP, is shaking up the defense industry like never before. A groundbreaking multinational initiative, GCAP unites the cutting-edge military expertise of the United Kingdom, Japan, and Italy to develop a sixth-generation stealth fighter, one that could redefine the very future of air combat. This ambitious project aims to replace some of the most formidable aircraft in service today. For the Royal Air Force and the Italian Air Force, that means bidding farewell to the Eurofighter Typhoon. Meanwhile, Japan's Air Self-Defense Force will retire its Mitsubishi F-2. But what's truly fascinating is how these three nations, each with their own plans for a next-gen fighter, came together to create a unified solution. Initially, the UK had set its sights on developing the Tempest, a next-generation fighter jet that turned heads when a model was unveiled in July 2018. By July 2019, the United Kingdom had signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Sweden to collaborate on Tempest, with Italy joining the party soon after. Things seemed to be on track when a trilateral agreement was inked in December 2020. However, in a surprising twist, Sweden pulled out of the project. On the other side of the world, Japan was on a parallel path, working on its own next-generation jet. With timelines and tactical requirements aligning closely with those of the Tempest project, the stage was set for something unprecedented. In December 2022, Japan, the United Kingdom, and Italy made a bold move. They decided to merge their separate sixth-generation fighter projects into one unified endeavor, GGCAP. This historic collaboration was solidified with the treaty in December 2023. But the collaboration didn't stop there. Even before GCAP was officially born, the UK and Japan had already agreed in 2022 to jointly develop a new fighter engine and explore other future air combat technologies. This early partnership laid the groundwork for what would become GCAP, with each nation taking on specific roles within the project. Unveiling the GCAP's new concept. On July 22nd at the Farnborough Air Show, the world got its first glimpse of a groundbreaking new concept model for the Global Combat Air Program, GCAP. Developed collaboratively by the UK's BAE Systems, Italy's Leonardo, and Japan's Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, this next-generation fighter jet is poised to set new standards in air combat, though not without stirring some controversy. This isn't just another stealth fighter. The new concept boasts a radically advanced design, marked by a significant change in wingspan that promises improved aerodynamics. The wider, cranked delta wing configuration will allow the aircraft to fly farther and faster, all while carrying more weapons and fuel. But here's the catch. These enhancements come at the cost of maneuverability. Yes, you heard that right. 
the agility of the aircraft has been reduced from both the original Tempest concept unveiled in 2018 and Japan's initial concept art for their fighter program. British aviation journalist Gareth Jennings didn't hold back, comparing the enlarged model's wingspan to that of the retired American F-111 Aardvark, a supersonic regional bomber. But while the F-111 relied on flying at extremely low altitudes to slip past enemy defenses, the GCAP will take a different approach. It's designed to rely on stealth and standoff missiles, drawing comparisons to the FB-22, a proposed long-range fighter-bomber variant of the U.S. Air Force's F-22 Raptor. However, unlike the FB-22, which was focused primarily on air-to-ground missions, the GCAP is being engineered to strike a perfect balance between air-to-air -air and ground attack capabilities. The dawn of a new era. This aircraft will combine the best features of fifth-generation fighters with a slew of groundbreaking technologies that are expected to define the still-conceptual sixth generation. Imagine this. Sophisticated, secure data links that allow seamless networking of sensors and weapons across friendly forces. Pilots will be equipped with helmets that provide a virtual see-through cockpit experience, allowing them to monitor the battlefield as if the plane's walls didn't exist. But it doesn't stop there. These helmets will also monitor the pilot's mental state, ready to intervene if they're overtasked or even unconscious. And then there's the AI, an integrated, highly advanced artificial intelligence system that will assist the pilot with tasks that would normally require an entire team. This AI will work in tandem with adaptive Psi turbofan engines that can be reconfigured mid-flight optimizing for either maximum performance or fuel efficiency depending on the mission's needs. With improved engine cooling and gearless electric generators that produce 10 times more electricity than current models, this aircraft is poised to support not just more powerful sensors, but potentially directed energy weapons as well. But the innovation doesn't stop there. This jet is expected to operate alongside autonomous collaborative platforms or adjunct aircraft similar to the U.S. Air Force's collaborative combat aircraft concept. According to Leonardo, one of the key developers, this aircraft will be one of the most advanced, interoperable, adaptable, and connected platforms in service globally. Equipped with an intelligent weapon system, a software-based interactive cockpit, integrated sensors, and a next-generation radar capable of providing 10,000 times more data than current systems, it's clear that this fighter jet is designed to be unmatched in the skies. Beyond the F-35 The Global Combat Air Program, GCIP partners, comprising the United Kingdom, Japan and Italy, are all operating stealthy, carrier-capable F-35B jump jets, with the exception of the UK, which also operates land-based F-35As. But here's the kicker. They're not content with just having the F-35. These nations are determined to develop their own next-generation stealth jet, one that's not just better but also free from the export restrictions that come with U.S. technology. This freedom would allow for the seamless integration of domestically built missile systems like the MBDA Meteor, Spear-3, and Japan's ASM-3 anti-ship and JNAM medium-range air-to-air missiles. The timeline is ambitious, with the GCAP fighter jet planned to enter service by 2035. Development is set to kick off next year, and production of a flying demonstrator already began in 2023, with its maiden flight scheduled for 2027. This jet will feature an internal payload bay, a Martin Baker ejection seat, and EJ-200 turbofans, currently used by the Eurofighter Typhoon, rather than GCAP's next-gen engines. And get this, the EJ-200S will reportedly come with a stealthy S-shaped inlet, enhancing the jet's stealth capabilities even further. But that's not all. A Boeing 757, 200 airliner aptly named Excalibur, is being converted into an avionics testbed for GCIP systems. This flying laboratory is expected to be operational by 2026 
and will be used to test GCAPI's MFRS radar, infrared sensors, communications, and self-defense systems. Budget Uncertainty The race for air dominance is on, and the Global Combat Air Program, GCAP, is charging full steam ahead. But with the U.S. Air Force recently rethinking its own sixth-generation fighter plans, all GCAP industry partners are steaming ahead with design activities for the next-generation fighter, said Herman Clayton, managing director of the program at BAE Systems. Clayton revealed that industrial teams in the UK, Italy, and Japan are all working from a unified set of requirements, ensuring that this groundbreaking fighter jet project remains cohesive across borders. Despite the US Air Force's recent decision to reconsider its path forward for the sixth generation NGAD program, Clayton emphasized that GCAP's industrial planning is unfazed. I have all the funding today that is needed to support the program, he stated confidently, a sentiment echoed by his counterparts in Italy and Japan. But here's the kicker. The total budget for GCAP remains shrouded in mystery. While the previous UK Conservative government pledged £2 billion by 2025 and an additional £12 billion overall, the looming question is whether the Labour Party will uphold this level of financial commitment. This uncertainty could either be GCAP's Achilles' heel or just another hurdle in what has already been an ambitious journey. Despite the odds, the UK, Italy and Japan have reportedly managed to agree on a single design document for GCAP. That's a feat in itself, considering the complexities of aligning three nations with different needs and priorities. The UK and Italy are eyeing GCAP as the eventual replacement for their aging 4.5 generation Typhoon fighters. Meanwhile, Japan is in more of a rush, facing severe wing cracking issues with its F2S that make extending their service life increasingly undesirable. Yet both political and industry leaders are adamant that future exports of this next-gen fighter remain a top priority. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Saudi Arabia, recently denied access to F-35 sales, has expressed interest in joining the GCAP initiative. However, Japan's objections have kept Riyadh out of the loop for now. Sweden was also in talks to join, but pulled out, citing plans to reconsider in 2031. Could this be the start of a new era in international defense cooperation, or just another ambitious project doomed by competing interests? What do you think? Is GCAP poised to surpass America's fighter jet programs, or will it crumble like so many others before it? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if you enjoyed this deep dive, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.